Oh, I hate this job so much. Why did I sign up for this? What's up? Can I get the usual? Um, sorry, I'm a new employee, so I don't know. Oh, whatever. Then I'll just get a black coffee with sprinkles and chocolate chip. With sprinkles and chocolate chip? Um, okay. Here's your black coffee with sprinkles and chocolate chips. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? You spilled all the coffee all over my $2,000 jacket. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, sir. I will make another coffee for you, or I can possibly clean your jacket. No. Cleaning will not take this nasty coffee of me. And what do I expect? A new employee making my usual I'm out of here. This is what I get for doing my job, huh? And shut up, it literally blends into your jacket. Don't act like your jacket is already the color of the coffee. Get out of here. No one wants your bratty ass in here. Well, I'm out of here then. I am never coming back here ever again. I'm literally so glad that I'm out of here in a couple of minutes. Uh. Oh my goodness, I literally don't have a driver license and literally no Uber will pick me up this time. Can my life get any more worst? Gosh. Yo, I'm sorry for acting so shitty with you and I noticed you don't have a ride. Wanna hop in? Hell no, I'd rather walk home than get in the car with you. I should have spilled coffee on you more. This is what I get for being nice. Whatever suit yourself. Whatever, I'll just walk home. Oh my god, Sage, have you heard about the new boy coming to our school? He's so fine, uh! Oh, please, let me see. There's, like, no fine boys in our school. Oh my goodness, you know Caleb? Oh, so that's his name. I, I wish I never did. He was such a brat to me. I hate him so much. He is not fine. His hair looks like a nest of lice. I'm going to class now. I don't want to talk about this. Oh my gosh, look behind us. Caleb is in our class. Shut the fuck up, Ashley. You're so loud. Caleb and Sage, come to the front. You both are going to be partners for our chemistry project. Because Sage is always partners with Ashley, and Caleb seems like a nice guy. Miss Smith, why do I have two? I rather work by myself than work with him. Please, Miss Smith. Yes. You have to work with him. The opposite gender needs to bond with each other. I'm tired of you and Ashley always being partners. Ooh, it seems like you're partners with the finest guy in school. Oh my god, don't even Ashley. Yo, Sage, that's your name, right? What's your number? Why would I even give you my number? The hell. So we can work on the project at my house, what else? Dumbass. Uh, okay, whatever, that's valid. Oh my god. Did I just see him ask for your number? He wants you for real, for real. Girl, stop with all the delusions. We literally hate each other so much. We are literally enemies. He only asked me my number because of the project. Whatever you say, girl, Emma, just go home. Um, hello, who is this? What's good, home girl? Come over to my house so we can do the project. I texted you the address. Girl, why did you end the call so fast? But did he just said come over to my house? Let me dress you up. Are you serious right now? Why did I have to dress up? Uh, whatever, I'm going now. See ya. Open up. Oh, what's up? Come inside. Um, so I planned out what we'll say and here's what you're gonna say. Sage is so cool and pretty. I love her so much. Like, I love her silky, soft, luscious hair. Like, oh my god, it's to die for. That's bullshit, bro. Just do what you want to do. I don't want to be involved with this. Her so lame. I'm so tired, you know what? I'm just gonna rest for a little. What the hell was that? Let me just check. Bros fell asleep. You know what? I'm not even gonna wake her up. She's gonna end up throwing hands at me if I do. I'll just carry her inside my room. God, Dayum, she's sleeper built. I thought she would be more lighter, but she's so heavy. Feels like a cow. How can someone look so ugly while sleeping? Whatever, Emma, just go to sleep on the couch. Where the hell am I? Ooh, what's that delicious, tasty smell? Bro, do you have any extra clothes I can borrow? I literally stank. Yeah, but you better give it back because this sweater is special. Wait, this sweater is so comfortable, I'm gonna steal it. Ew, this tastes like concrete. I know damn well you like it. Why are you watching me eat, you creep? It's a habit. Now hurry up and finish eating it. Well, I'm going home now. Wait, you don't even have a ride and it's literally raining. This is my stop. Thanks for the ride, I guess. Wait, Sage, my sweater. Oh my goodness, isn't that Caleb's sweater? Wait, did you sleep with... Girl, no, we are literally strangers. Stop playing around. Wait, did you just set him wearing Caleb's sweater? Oh my goodness, I forgot to give him back this sweater and I left my dirty sweater in his car. What am I going to wear for school tomorrow? Sagey, hurry up. We are going to be late for school. <laughs> Girl, shut up. It is not funny. I just texted Caleb about my sweater. He better give it back. Whatever you say, boo. Let's just go to school now. Whoa, isn't that Caleb's sweater? Are you guys more than friends? First of all, we are not friends at all. 
Second, it is, but Caleb is bringing back my sweater today. Sage, look behind you. You, he jump scared me. Oh, right. Here's your sweater, loser. Thanks, I guess. Bro, my sweater. Did she just forgot about my sweater again? Whatever, she's already in the bathroom. I'm not a pervert. Oh, fuck. I got my makeup on his sweater. Wait, I forgot about his sweater again. You know what? I'll just wash it when I get back home. Come over to my house. We have to work on the project. Cornball. Uh, I really don't want to go. Let me just get his sweater and go. Open up. Why are you so aggressive with it? Because you deserve it and you better pay for my Uber fees. All right, all right. Just come inside. Oh, sorry about not giving your sweater to you. Here's your sweater. I washed it, by the way. What the fuck did you just say? Huh? My mom gave me that sweater when she fucking died. It literally has her scent on it. And my dumbass thought I could trust you with it. First, you ruined my $1,000 jacket. Second, we were chemistry partners. And now this. How clumsy can you be? Wait, what? Caleb, I'm so sorry I didn't know. Sue, what happened with you and Caleb when you guys were working on the project? Um, sorry, Ashley. I rather not talk about it right now. Huh, why not? I can tell something isn't okay. You can tell me, Sage, we are basically sisters. No, it's fine. Let's just go to class. Oh my god, Sage, watch out. Did you just... Oh my gosh, did you guys just kiss? Isn't that your first kiss? Whoa, bro. Dude, shut up. That was just a little peck. Whoa, her lips were so... Bro, Ayo? What was that? Do you mind if I could sit here? Yeah, sure, I don't mind. What's your name again? Oh, thanks, my name is... Damn, bro, why are you looking at Sage so hard? It looks like you're jealous. Do you like Sage or something? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Sage and Caleb come up. It's your turn to do the presentation. Um, so... What are you looking at? Um, anyways, the pH level of this is one we analyze this, and yes, Caleb, go. Sage is pretty. She has such luscious hair. The Bro, what the hell? Sage, I'm very sorry about what I said to you. I was just really mad. No way did he just apologize to you. He usually never apologizes to anyone, even if he did something bad. He must really like you, girl. Caleb likes me? What a joke. Oh my god, girl, I think he for sure likes you. I heard him and his friend talking about you. I don't know, but I want to make up for him. I feel bad for what I've done to him. I'm gonna go talk with him at lunch. No way, bro. Your enemy was your first kiss. That's crazy. For real. Yo, I see Sage. She's come. What now? Um, Caleb, I want to make it up to you, and I'm also sorry for what I did. Do you want to go to the bakery with me tonight? Yes. I mean, um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, yay, see you there. I turned around, and this is what I see. What the hell is happening? Hi, I, what would you like? I'll like a cupcake, please. Okay, one cupcake, guys. Hi, I, we will like two cupcakes, please. That'll be $12. Oh, here. Wait, what? It's my pleasure. Thanks for paying. And also, again, I'm so sorry for washing your sweater. I didn't know. Maybe one day we can go shopping for a new sweater. No, no, it's all right. I'm also sorry for being mad at you at the coffee shop. And you know... Did you just smile? What? No, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, right. I almost forgot. Here are some flowers. Oh, thank you. Well, um, bye. Don't tell me you're shy. Fuck. Why am I still thinking about her? I'm so excited for today's field trip. Ah. I'm so excited, too. But have you heard that a girl has to share a room with a guy because the girl dorms are full? Hopefully it isn't me. Oh, my goodness. We should go take a dip in the water. Let's play mermaids. Bro, I think I forgot my extra. What's good, ladies? Seems like it's fate. I keep running into you, Sage. Duh, of course you're gonna run into me. It's a field trip, fool. Whatever. I'm going now. I hate that Sage bitch so much. Oh my gosh, right? She's so weird, like, what are you doing? Y'all are such fans. I always hear you guys talking about Sage behind her back. Like, go say it in her face or some shit. What are you? Her boyfriend or something? <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, well, let me tell you, she's a literal catfish. Like all those pounds of makeup. Oh, well, let me tell you, she's all natural. Didn't you post on your story that you're a uh, girl's girls? What's happened to that, huh? Okay, everyone, this is the dorms you guys will be having for this field trip. Just for you guys to know, the girls' dorms are full, so I'll contact the girl that has to share with a guy. 
Okay, everyone, go inside now. Make sure you have a roommate. I wonder why the teacher didn't let me choose my roommate. Why are you here? Are you stalking me? Why do you keep following me? You, do you like- No, because like, why are you in my dorm? You pervert, get out of the girl's dorm. Bro, don't you see my name on this door? How stupid do you gotta be? Now get out. I'm waiting for my roommate. Wait, is this room number 219? Yeah. Wait, don't tell me you're the girl that's gonna be my roommate. Are you serious right now? Out of everyone? Oh, I just got a message that everyone is gonna play spin the bottle next door. Um, do you wanna come? Yeah, sure, I have nothing to do anyways. It seems like it landed on Seiji and Caleb. Bro, wait, what? No, wait. What me and Sage? Who's sagging? I mean, who's Sage? Um, excuse me? Are you dating Caleb? Everyone is talking about how you two are dating. Wait, what? Who said that? Me and Caleb are dating? Bro, what? Well, supposedly, he went up to these girls that were talking bad about you and he stood up for you and then said you guys were dating. No way, this gotta be a joke. He would never do that. Me and him are like enemies. Okay, maybe we did kiss two times, but... Hello, everyone. Just a quick reminder, prom is coming up very soon. Make sure you guys have a prom date, or you can just go alone or go with a friend. No way you're gonna ask out Sage to prom. I am. I realize how good of a person she is, and I realized how bad I treated her. She's low-key cute, to be honest. Ayo, bro. No way my best friend is growing up too much. Do as you wish, buddy. Yeah, good luck, gang. It was so funny and like, oh my god, and like... Girl, look behind you. Behind me? I'm scared, and why is there so much people? I know how much history we have, but will you go to prom with me? I like you very much, and I see us in the future. Of course, silly goose. <laughs> Oh fuck, since when was it raining? I literally left my umbrella at my house today. Uh. Oh, what's up, Sage? It seems like you don't have an umbrella we can share mine. Where did you came from? And uh... <laughs> hey guys, so I'm on a morning run right now, but I'm gonna stop to get a smoothie. Okay, I'm here. Dude, what the fuck you just dropped your smoothie on me? Okay, well, my bad, bro. You'll be fine anyways. It's just a fucking drink. Ugh, screw you. Okay, guys, I just got home and changed my shirt because that asshole dropped his smoothie on me. But anyways, today I'm getting a new roommate, and I hope it's a girl. That must be them. Oh my gosh, not you. Oh my gosh, not you. No way I have to stay with you. Um, one sec. I'm so mad this idiot has to be my roommate, like, ugh. You do know I can hear you talking shit, like, just let me in already. Fine. And take that damn camera out of my face. Erm, um, this is so pink and girly. Now that's better. Okay, guys, so my friend hosted a boat party, so I'm gonna get ready for it, and I'll get back with you guys when I'm done. I look so hot. Okay, I'm gonna go tell Ethan that I'm leaving now. Where do you think you're going looking like that? I'm going to a boat party, and why the fuck do you care? You're not going out there like that. Yes, I am. So this idiot who can't even drive decided to bring his dumbass out here to quote-unquote babysit me. Turn that shit off. Okay, well, um, Tammy is drunk right now and... Ethan, look at my magic trick. Tammy, no. <laughs> hey, guys. Tammy's dumbass is knocked out after jumping off the boat. I don't know how many drinks she had, but look at her knocked out. I'm taking her drunk ass home now. She's so pretty. Where am I? Is it Christmas? What happened? Whose hoodie am I wearing, and why does everything feel weird? Well, first of all, you got drunk and drank like 15 times. Then your dumb ass jumped off the boat, and then you fell asleep. And you're also wearing my hoodie, by the way. Oh, that's insane. Thank you so much, and also for the hoodie. Yeah, of course. I also made pancakes, by the way. Thank you so much, but I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh my gosh, you guys, he's so sweet and hot. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he just did that. I'm so happy, but let's go back to eat the pancakes now. This is so good. How did you make this? I have my ways. Okay, well, I'm going to go shopping, so I'll be back. In the rain? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, guys, so I'm going to propose and ask Tammy out. But with a twist, I'm going to decorate her room to make it romantic. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so this is also the bouquet I'm going to give to her as well. But now I'm going to get to decorating. Okay, so I just finished decorating her bed area. And look at this. I'm such a genius. She's going to love this. Ethan, I'm home. Okay, well, I have a surprise in your room, so follow me. Will you be my girlfriend? Oh my gosh, yes, of course. You're the most amazing girl. <laughs> Everyone, I've got some lip balm. 